What's going on guys? Uh, today we're taking a look at the Olight S1 Baton. Uh, the two that we have here are actually both of the titanium versions. Bead blasted here as well as the polished there. So these are really, really cool lights. Um, beautiful finishes. Uh, really, really bright. Loaded with features. And make sure you stick around to check them out. Again, these are both S1 batons, uh, the two titanium finishes, and we'll go ahead and take a look at those. You can see bead blasted here, polished over here. Boxes are identical. Um, before we get started, I want you to take a look at this. Um, Olight has a five-year warranty. I'll hit on this real quick. Um, the warranty is really, really nice. Uh, basically, anything happens to the light within five years, contact Olight. They will either replace it or fix it free of charge. Outside of five years, um, ship it to them. They'll fix it, and you just pay for parts. So their warranty is actually really, really cool. So. Um, packaging, very nice, shows you an image of the light, that's pretty cool. We'll take the, the tops off on the inside, you see they both say thank you. Alright, that is of course our bead blasted S1 baton, that is the polished one. You can see you do have an accessory kit, I'm going to put the polished one aside for uh, for just a moment so go ahead and take that out I'll show you the accessories that you're gonna get with these uh, you do get a battery um, I've already installed both of them they the batteries are in that accessory pouch so you get a nice uh, neoprene lanyard with a, a slide here to make it adjustable to uh, to fit your wrist one of the cool things about these is the lanyard holes on these lights, if you're not familiar, is very, very small. Hopefully you can see that O-Light includes a, a little needle tip to help you thread it in there, which is cool. So I actually really like that. You're also going to get a diffuser tip with both of them. Very, very cool as well. So we'll set all that stuff aside. You can see here your instruction manual. Pretty basic. Um, one side is in Chinese. The other obviously English. So that is pretty much it. Like I said, the accessory kit is going to be um, identical on both. And before we start talking about specs, I just want to kind of show you the lights real quick. So, well, there's a, a feature of the... Uh, of the light. Um, if you're not familiar with the S1 baton, hopefully you can see this, the uh, tail cap is magnetic which is great for working on your car or um, you know if the power goes out you can you know, stick it to the refrigerator or something and use it to uh, to light up the light up the room which is really cool. Um, really really great lights guys. Um, I'm very very impressed by them um, you know Olight makes a good quality product plus this titanium in my opinion is just beautiful you can see you do have a, um, a little copper ring around the bezel of both as well as around the activation switch so just really really good looking uh, lights guys so of course they are made of titanium um, 
one being polished, the other having a bead blasted finish. Um, let's go ahead and weigh them for you. Two ounces exactly, that is the bead blast. Two ounces on the polished as well. So you can see there, super, super lightweight. Um, really lightweight flashlights. Um, maximum lumen count is 480, which is excellent for a light that's this small. Uh, that is uh, going to be powered by a Cree XML2 NW LED, and the battery is a CR123, or you can use the rechargeable variety, which is a RCR123. You see there, you do have a o-ring so it's going to be waterproofed actually it's waterproof to ipx8 standards and what that means if you're not familiar is you can submerge it for up to 30 minutes down to two meters so the waterproofing is actually pretty cool one thing to note about the threads guys um, i don't think you're going to be able to hear it um, the threads are pretty grainy for some reason let's see if let's see if you can hear it not really very smooth and I noticed that's the same with both the bead blasted one and the polished one so I would recommend putting some silicone grease on the threads one that's going to protect them and two it's just going to kind of lubricate it to uh, to make putting the uh, um, the cap on a lot easier so again it's waterproof to IPX8 standards weighs eight ounce or two ounces rather um, really really nice light again your high is 480 lumens and at that setting you'll get one and a half hours of runtime and then it's going to drop down to 240 lumens you'll get 90 minutes of runtime your medium is 75 lumens at six hours low seven lumens at 40 hours and then you have two secret modes or hidden modes that Olight calls them one is a moonlight, the other is a strobe. Your moonlight mode is a half lumen, and that's going to give you 600 hours of runtime. So, uh, really, really cool. Your pocket clip on both is stainless steel. It is both removable and reversible. Uh, one of the nice things about this is you can, you know, clip it on the bill of a hat and use it as a headlamp if if you want. So, that's really neat. So, let's talk about the operation. Really, really simple. Um, to activate your moonlight mode, you're going to hold the button down for three seconds. There you go, that's that half lumen setting that we talked about. Click it again to turn it off. Then just click the button, and that's going to go into your regular modes. This is your low, hold it down, medium hold it down again and that's your high really really bright really bright and the uh, the reflector on it does a fantastic job of of uh, transitioning between the flood and hotspot there's really actually no hotspot it's a it's a the beam on it is really really well done um, to access your strobe let's turn it on low you're just going to turn it on in any setting and triple click and there you can see that strobe. It is brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh, it also has a timer, and to use the timer, it's basically an auto shut off. You're going to turn it on in any mode, double click it. You'll see that one blink, that means it'll automatically shut off after three minutes, and then double click again. Two flashes, that means it's going to shut off after nine minutes. So that auto shut off feature is actually really, really cool. And it does have memory for all three of the standard modes, meaning your low, medium, and high, strobe and moonlight. No memory for those. So if you end on strobe and turn it off, it's just going to go back to the setting that you were on before you activated the strobe. So keep that in mind. Basically, you see there, it's going to go back to low. So really easy to use memory function is great 
um, operation is great. And what I'll go ahead and do now is just do a couple of beam shots with it inside for you. All right, I know you can't see right now, but we're about 25 feet from my front door. So we're gonna go ahead and power the light on. This is low. Shine it at the ceiling, you can see it definitely lights up the room. Really, really nice uh, flood. Hold it down. There's our medium. Hold it down again. And then your high. Definitely, definitely sufficiently bright. Turn it back to low. We'll turn it off. And then I know you can't really see anything, but um, this is the moonlight mode. And then, of course, your strobe. So, again, that's pretty much it, guys. Really awesome light, and you should definitely check it out. Thanks.